Hey guys, so today I'm going to do a portion of my Black Friday haul. This is going to be from KB Shimmer and these four beauties down here. These two are from Polish Pickup and I actually ordered these prior to Black Friday. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started. You're going to notice on my nails that I've already gone ahead and started. Um, well, I didn't start, but... They uh, peel. My yellow stopper peels off for me very good. So you're going to notice that. Um, I do apologize. Uh, that's just the way it goes when you use a peel off. So let's go ahead and get started. I'll go ahead and start with the KB Shimmers first. Okay, so her Black Friday deal was... Um, I believe it was 17% off. And you could fit in six polishes to her hollow bag here in the inside it says kb shimmer um it's a very nice bag i don't really know i'll ever use it uh, but it's it's very nice it is holographic um so yeah so i did go ahead and put six in here i don't remember what it came down to um 30 some dollars 39 possibly I, I really don't remember i don't have the bill any longer um but yeah and that was the only thing i got off of her website so let's go ahead and do our swatches haven't really been too enthused with kb shimmer lately um no reason in particular just nothing really has been catching my eye this one here though i've wanted for quite some time and this is the best mom ever and it's a very pretty dusty purple with a pink kind of like glass fleck shimmer in there and i'm working with a new device so you're going to have to bear with me while i try to get all of these uh, bugs and everything worked out that i, I just the focusing and stuff so let's go ahead and give the best mom ever first coat. And, you know, I mean, it is a typical KB Shimmer formula. It's a very good formula. It stays where you put it. Um, it doesn't run down the sides. So yeah, that was one coat of the best mom ever. Next up, I have this beauty, and this is called Better Lake Than Never. And she's been really into kind of like putting these hollow flakies in her polishes lately. So this is a real pretty, um, I want it's coming up more green on camera, but I want to call it like an ocean blue. Um, it's a very pretty scattered hollow. And it's coming off green because it has that green shimmer in it. So, um, that's why it's going to be more green here. So let's go ahead and find where we're at. And do one coat of Better Lake Than Never. Okay, so there, again, it has a nice formula. Okay. Next we have, and I strictly bought this one for the name, basically, because it is called Lady and the Vamp. And if you've watched me, you know that we had a uh, beloved pet that was named Lady who passed um, back in 2015. So I do try to buy polishes with the name lady in it somewhere so what this is is the deep um i'm gonna call it a plum i'm gonna call it a plum color um because when i look at it it makes me think of a plum and again it's a scattered hollow it's got the um larger hollow hex glitters it will dry a bit textured because of all that micro glitter uh, but one coat, possibly two coats of top coat, does smooth it out nicely. So here we're going to go ahead with... Sorry, I'm just trying to find the best 
uh, zoomed in, um, this is one coat of Lady in the Vamp. I haven't made a video in a while, and it's almost kind of like I forgot how. Now, come January 1st, also, I'm going to be going back to doing my collection. I've uh, I put a poll up on Instagram asking, and sorry, but majority did rule. It wasn't a very large majority, um, but majority ruled that they would like to see it again. Um, I asked only because I have had so much polish through the year that things have changed. It's not the same. They're outdated. I never even finished it. So what I'm going to attempt to do is I'm going to actually go... By brand, I'm going to alphabetical brand and then by color. So I'm going to start with like, let's just say A England because I think they are going to be my first. And then I'm going to take the polishes I have through A England and like A England blues. I'm going to Roy G. Bivet, I think. So um, instead of it just being by brand, it's going to be by color. I'm not sure. I have so much polish that to go by Roy G. Biv, it would not, I mean, I would confuse myself. There's absolutely no way I'd possibly be able to Roy G. Biv my collection for you guys. I've got to break it down somehow into other smaller categories to be able to do this. So that's why I, I might not even go alphabetical by brand. I might just keep a spreadsheet of what I've done. Um, cause a England, I don't really have a blue. Um, I don't really have a blue. So a England would get skipped anyway. And then I would move to the next a, um, Avon, Aliquid, Alchemy. Um, but I'm not sure that I want to do that. So we'll see. We, we will see. Um, but that's what's to come in the new year. Next up here from KB Shimmer is hashtag your it. And this, I'm not really 100% sure if this is those holographic flakies. I see there is some hollow in there. Um, but I'm not sure if they're the holographic flakies. There's a bright blue shimmer. And if they're not hollow, then they're silver metallic flakies. And there it is on the brush. It's very pretty. Okay, and here we go for one coat of hashtag your it. Right. Next up, I had to have this one. This is called Peach for the Sky, and it is a sky blue with that peach shimmer in it. There's the brush shot, and here is one coat of peach for the sky. This is very China Glaze Pearl Jam esque. However, the base is a lot bluer and opaque. Last of my six for KB Shimmer is Puns and Roses. I always go to the blue multichromes. Uh, so I thought maybe we'll go to the red. And what this one does is it goes from a red to a green to a gold or to a gold to a green. Mm, somewhere along that line. Um, very pretty. Very, very pretty. Of course, it's going to be kind of sheer on the first coat. There it is on the brush. Okay, and here is one coat of Puns and Roses. Yeah, guys, I really need to up my YouTube game. Um, not really sure. I don't have a lot of time. And that's why a lot of things fall to the wayside with me. Um, and it needs to be easy. If it's not easy, I lose interest quick also. So, <sighs> sorry for the mishmash of everything. Um, this next polish is the whole reason why I ordered from this brand to begin with. This is polished for days. This is very, very similar to KB Shimmer's Pretty in Punk. Pretty in Punk has a much more 
uh, noticeable holographic then this one and this one I bought because of its name and it's named Donner um, again if you've watched me you know that this year 2017 on August 3rd I lost my beloved boy Donner um, I will try to insert a picture here um, so that was my Donner um, he was my boy he went everywhere with me and it's really hard to even think that it's only been four months. It'll be four months on December 3rd. It's really hard to believe that it's only been four months when it seems like it's been so much longer. Um, so I needed to have this. I've been searching high and low for Starly's Donner, which was released a couple years ago, but I'm not having any luck with it. Um, so this was the next best polish. And it is a murky green. Like I said, it's very, very reminiscent to KB Shimmer's Pretty in Punk. Um... This has a very good formula. It's almost kind of like a grayed out green, so to say. It's very pretty. I mean, I bought it for the name. I wish it was a prettier color, but it's still pretty. I like pretty and punk, so I like this one as well. This next one was also polished for days because I couldn't just see buying one. <laughs> and this one was called Comet. And Comet is actually my second favorite reindeer, so I figured it fits. And this one's a very pretty green also, kind of like with a reddish pink shimmer and scattered hollow. This was very reminiscent to me of a glam polish, however the glam polish is a lot lighter. This one's much darker. So here is one coat of Comet. very pretty great formula on these too I mean Donner is almost a one coater you know almost so these next two I got these from the what was it the November polish pickup I never ordered from them before but I thought hey this is a great idea so I may continue to order some from there if I like them I don't own any Supernatural lacquer. This is my first one, and this one is called The Raccoon Incident. I don't know what any of that means, so not a clue, but look at this. It's got beautiful pink shimmer in kind of like a grungy gray-green base, and it's got some iridescent flakies in there. It's just so pretty, and this dries matte also. Here's the brush. Yeah, so this dries matte, which was a surprise, because I look for color. I don't read really too many descriptions, unless it's very hard to tell on the photo of what the color is or what the shimmer on the inside is. So I don't, I don't read. Otherwise, I may have known that this was a matte, but it looks really cool matte, so I don't care. And this next one I needed, because the pictures were just so gorgeous. In the bottle, it looks so gorgeous. I'm not so sure yet on the nail. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. But this is a Colors by LaRoe, also from the Polish Pickup. And this is called 40 Going on 26 Younger. I don't know what that means again. And this is a blue, and it shifts to a pinky purple. And naturally, you're not seeing any of that. You could see it here. And then it will go to, like, a gold. So it is very pretty. And I'm sure once I get angles right, um, it'll look nice for me also. And it's got some scattered hollow flakes in there. So here is the first coat of 40 uh, going on 26 younger. Something like that. What's the name of it again? <laughs> 40 going on 26 younger. Okay. 
All right, so I'm gonna pause. I'm gonna do a second coat on all of these and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so here we are with the second coats. And this one here is um, the KB Shimmer, the best mom ever. KB Shimmer's Better Lake Than Never. This one is just gorgeous. Here is Lady in the Vamp. And yes, this does dry slightly textured. You can see it there. One coat of top coat does smooth it out pretty nicely, but you will need two to avoid any um, if you want it to be glossy smooth. This is Hashtag Your It. And again, it's very, very pretty especially with that blue shimmer. Here is Peach for the Sky. And Puns and Roses. Puns and Roses actually has a very good shift, but you're not going to see it on my camera here. So now we're up to Polished for Days, and this is Donner. This is Comet. Comet is still wet. <laughs> and here is Supernatural Lacquers Raccoon Incident. And I let it dry to its matte form. And you can really see that pink shimmer. You're not, you're not seeing it here, but you can see it, trust me. And here's the colors by Laroe 40 going on 26 younger. And again, you're not going to see that shift here. I wish you would. Um to be honest, I don't see it much. So it might need three coats or I might have to do some testing with that over black and whatnot. But anyway, that was everything. Um, this color that's been peeling off here is CoverGirl's Fuchsia Flame. And that is this right here. Fuchsia Flame. And then I did some snowflake stamping um, because we are having a challenge and I am already, I'm usually a day or so ahead. So you'll be seeing this Manny on my Instagram tomorrow for our 31 day challenge. Um, and Lena stamping plates for the snowflake. 2018, I am, like I said, trying to bring out more um, content try to make it a little bit more quality content um i'd like to have my whole collection swatched for 2018 uh, i'd like to introduce some hauls however claire and i are going on a very strict no buy um her and i are also going to go on a diet to try to be healthier also um i wish we lived closer together so that we could actually do the buddy system but Hopefully, hopefully we'll be able to manage anyway. Um, and I also want to try to have a better nail care routine so that my nails look a little better. Um, I, I'm working on it. You know, like I said, I want to have a little bit more quality content than just, you know, content. So that is my KB Shimmer Black Friday haul. Um, you're going to see this all again because I'm going to do a glam, my glam polish uh, Black Friday haul. So um, it's not going to be published though until, um, I don't know, a day or two from now. So, but I hope you enjoyed. Uh, let me know your thoughts and comments down below and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.